What's up guys, it's Asian Power. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. I'm super excited for this video because we are taking a look at the EA Play Live event that happened earlier today. Um, I did see a little teeny little bit of it today. A uh, little just the event um, reveal that has been leaked for weeks now. Uh, but everything else I have not seen. So we are reacting to it live here on the channel today. If you guys are excited leave a like on the video subscribe if you guys are brand new want more apex content we are on the road to 200 subscribers thank you guys so much for the support honestly i really do appreciate it but let's keep growing let's keep grinding together let's do this all right guys let's jump into the video hey apex fans the battle just keeps getting bigger thanks to you apex legends is coming off its most successful most epic season yet and we're That's just getting started po post behind them Season four saw more of you jumping into the fight than ever before, and you've kept that amazing momentum going forward, making season five the biggest and best start to a season ever. Took out an enemy. Hold on to oh, your the PK, baby. Love the PK. We hope you've been enjoying season five, Fortune's Favor, which has seen the introduction Ooh, of our Loba. latest legend, Loba. Oh, she a dick. major map change to Kings Canyon. Rest in peace, Skull Town. An all new ranked series and a ton of quality of life updates. But it's about to get even better. Today, I'm here to tell you about what's coming next to season five with our latest collection event, Lost Treasures. Take this is the one that I've seen and looked at. But we all knew it was coming. Wait a minute. That Revenant skin is fire. <laughs> That looks so dope. You'll just be gone. It's like an Egyptian skin. That looks Adventure. so sick. Raiders. Explorers. They Look at that. Oh, that's cool. It's like an explorer uh, skin for Watson. Um, and then, you, of course, you got that uh, Revenant skin in the back looking dope as ever. Egyptian With style. Everything in such a fame. So sick. Fortune. What? This okay? I I as I said, I I saw this before, but I didn't get to like look into the details of it. That wraith skin. Oh my goodness! <laughs> but if they so, die, that was sick. They might walk away with lost treasures. <laughs> that crypto mustache, bro. That was so funny. Okay, th I did see this one, but this is Octane. Let's let's listen to that again. That's his voice calling that in. Okay, I should have let that play through. I'm sorry for, about that. We just saw a perhaps total rework of Octane's ultimate. That is just mind blowing. No more jump pads. Maybe you could switch in between. That would be kind of cool. You could choose your ultimate. Blast. Something in the future of Apex that could be absolutely insane. Each legend has this is, again, my thoughts, but this would be really cool. Each legend has two ultimates. And when you hit the, the buttons on the controller or whatever it is on uh, PC, it gives you the options. Kind of like um, in Call of Duty, this one they had the, I can't remember what it was called, but you got to choose between the field upgrades. You got to choose two, whether it was you know, a munitions box or dead silence. You got to choose which one you wanted to do when it was charged up. Imagine... If that was an Apex Legends. So for like Wraith or something, you could either create a portal or something else. That would be nuts. Totally nuts. Given the option to have two different ultimates, this could open a huge, awesome creative door. So much content. I just thought of that. Let me know your guys' thought of that down in the comment section below because that would be so cool. Oh. So again, back to the, back, sorry guys, back to the trailer, get off my soapbox. Octane, his new ultimate is a 
portable respawn beacon. So if you're in the middle of a fight, your teammate goes down, gets wiped off the face of the earth, pick up their card, call in a beacon right there in the battle. Or like the carnage of the battle, if you will. And you can respawn your player right there next to his box. I This is all, again, just speculation from what I've seen from this. But that's insane. That is whew, game changing. Check yourself or wreck yourself. You guys see that? Lifeline got a rework to her passive. Her passive. She can heal with the shield, but does not have to be standing by them. Her drone, Doc, will heal your res, or res your teammate by itself, and you can go shoot. So not only are, is Lifeline getting a shield to protect her down teammate, and possibly herself, she can move and take fire at the team who's pushing her. That is... That's two and one. Protection and aggression. Protection and attacking. Holy cow. That. Like, so far from what I've seen in the last 30 seconds, these reworks are absolutely amazing. <laughs> guns? Who needs guns? I don't need guns. Is that a statue of himself? His heirloom? I won't walk away without it. This is, okay, this is the new area um, of, for crypto. This is his town takeover. The buildings in the back, that's uh, Repulsor. So this is uh, to the left of it. It's like if you're looking at the map, it's, um, it's like west of it. So that's where this is going to be located. Okay, check out that G7 skin. It's like that Revenant skin. It's kind of dope. That uh, that mustache cracks me up. T, it's me. Be careful. He's watching you. He hacked into the. Those vaults As are coming saw, open? The Lost Treasures collection event brings with it a ton of great content, including a new limited time mode, Armed and Dangerous Evolved. Armed and Dangerous Evolved? Fan favorite, snipers and shotties only, but with a twist. Mm -hmm. Sending out my decoy. All armor is evil armor, and we're removing all of the respawn beacons across the entire map. <laughs> Don't worry though, you'll still be able to bring back your teammates with the help of a new item, the mobile respawn beacon. You'll have one of these in your inventory at the start. Man, do I look like a fool. Asia Power, let this whole video play out, then talk about it. Oh, man. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let this play out and quit making myself look like a fool. Part of each match, giving you the power to choose when, and more importantly, where you bring your teammates back into the battle. Lost Treasures also introduces a new town takeover, Crypto's Map Room, which gives players a closer look at what motivates this drone-wielding hacker. And of course, the Lost Treasures collection delivers a bunch of exclusive content you can earn by completing challenges, That's so sick. as well as all new Alter. event exclusive cosmetic items and the introduction of your boy Mirage's heirloom. Which is Russian fittingly Russian. a trophy of himself. Excited to see you all in the ring. Don't worry, there's plenty of me's to go around. <laughs> That's so cool. And the That's best so part cool. is you don't have to wait that long. Lost Treasures drops on Tuesday, June 23rd. And that's not Next all week? Apex fans. The battle Look, is expanding. The thing is map pack. That's right. This fall, we're bringing Apex Legends to Steam. And I know you're hoping, wondering, okay, cool. praying. So before you ask, yeah, crossplay is coming to Apex this fall. It's been one of the biggest requests we get. What? And we're thrilled to finally deliver it to our fans. What? What am I forgetting? Oh yeah, one last thing. Let's make it official. We're huge hey. fans of Nintendo here at Respawn. That's and we're sick. incredibly excited to be bringing Apex Legends to the Switch this fall. And we'll share more details in the months ahead. So that means you'll be able to squad up no matter where you and your friends prefer to play. Xbox, PlayStation, Switch, or on the PC via Origin and Steam. We're throwing out a lifeline and healing the divide between the platforms. 
On behalf of the entire Apex team, we want to thank our incredible community. Oh Your my. passion for the game is truly inspiring. Holy cow. We look cow. forward to seeing you all in the arena. And don't forget, check out Lost Treasures on June 23rd. June 23rd, hope. Oh, oh man, that was amazing. <laughs> I think I'm hyper, hyper I think I'm hyper, man. I've had a really good time here. Oh, that. That heirloom, that heirloom's dope. There's a few things I want to talk about. So let's correct my mistake. Octane did not get a rework of his ultimate. I should have let the video play out and let you know. But, <clears throat> but as I said, this is a live reaction. I'm literally seeing these for the first part. Obviously, I didn't watch the entire thing in because I didn't know. Um, so that's my bad, but hey, it's a live reaction. It happens. So those uh, respawn beacons are an item, not an ultimate. But the idea that I had earlier still stands. Could you imagine if they just added more ultimates and you get to choose between those two ultimates and go from there? That could be dope. We'll see how that goes. But this, this is hands down the biggest announcement Apex dropped throughout this whole video. Crossplay this fall. They didn't give us a date, a specific date, but it's gonna be class cross-platform. But not only that, it's coming to the Nintendo Switch. I can download it for free on my Nintendo Switch. I don't know, probably in the fall whenever this drops, but that is huge. They're reaching out to the Nintendo world. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. One thing I do hope that they do is that they give you an option to turn on or off crossplay crossplay kind of like uh call of duty so like if you wanted to play crossplay you could or if you didn't you just wanted to play with whatever console you are shut it off but i'm super excited for this to be able to play with pc players and ps4 players not just being the same lobby uh, but to be able to play with a whole more wide variety of people on the game will be so refreshing so nice but this this is the newness, that freshness that I was talking about uh, in a couple videos ago when I talked about the current state of Apex Legends. This, my friends, is huge. So huge. I'm super pumped for it. Gosh, man. I, when I saw that, I was just taken back. Like This whole event, this whole thing is massive. I'm so, so excited. The skins look awesome. The event looks awesome. Um, I thought it was a, a cool idea that they brought in, uh, you know, everybody loves shotguns and snipers, but taking away the beacons, adding the portable recon beacons, that's, that's a really cool thing to add and something that they're trying in a limited time mode and they're giving us Evo, which is even better. So many great things, so many things that I could go over. I don't know if I missed anything, but honestly, this was insane. It's kind of weird that Lifeline kind of got a rework before Octane because in the Season 5 uh, release they talked about reworking Octane. Maybe there will be something that we just didn't see. Uh, maybe we should go back. Let's go back really quick. So that's part of the event. Nothing. Okay. This part. That. That, that this. This is going to be the new meta. Like, being able to heal your teammate and res them while taking on another team or even staying behind it and kind of using uh, the shield kind of like Gibraltar's bubble, hopping in and out as cover, that's game changing. I really, really believe Lifeline will be top tier now after this. It'll be really crazy to see how well it plays into the game. But what a great, great and awesome, <laughs> excuse me awesome change that is for lifeline definitely super excited to check that out and lastly let's i mean obviously there's not going to be a whole lot but the uh octane i mean uh, mirage's heirloom looks so funny it fits perfectly the the animations the movement while he uh, sits there and juggles it at the end 
Oh, where is it? Oh, right here. This. This right here is so mirage. And then he drops it. That is so, so mirage. I love that they added the quirkiness of the animation into that. It's his personality and I absolutely love it. The last thing that I want to talk about, not talk about, but kind of question, you know, revisit is the bunkers. We see that Crypto's drone is talking with Crypto about the bunkers and then they release. Is that hinting at something more that will come in the future or something that will be added and coming with this event? I don't really know, but I'm super excited to see what exactly happens or it could be with the quest. Next week's quest, we really, really don't know. But I'm so, so excited for this next event. If you guys are as well, smash that like button and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Guys, this is a whole lot of fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this live reaction as well. Thank you so much for your time and enjoying uh, spending it here with me. I'll see you next time, guys. See ya.